my perspective on health from the LG, from uh, and and health, how health has played for the LGBT community and how we have access to health and health services it comes from the uh, the lens of HIV I'm openly HIV positive it's been a long journey for me to understand my place as an HIV positive gay Asian male in the world and I've been learning how to how to do that over the last 12 years um, I think that in Asia we've benefited a lot of a lot from investments in trying to improve the quality and access of HIV services um, in, in Asia there's been a lot of investment here we have seen some gains um, but there's a lot of work that has not been done um, sadly I think that the focus on HIV means that most of the work has been around engaging gay men, bisexual men, transgender women. And that definitely does not account for all of the diverse LGBTIQ community. I, I feel that we could be doing much better for queer women, for lesbians, uh, for trans men as well, who may not necessarily have had the, the same urgency on HIV issues as the gay boys and, and the trans women. Uh, but their health concerns are no less important, and I think that we could be doing better in that. Um, I also think that, um, so, so to give you a concrete example, uh, issues of mental health are, are, are big across the board for the LGBT community, and yet service providers, counselors, psychologists, uh, people at the front line of the health system are very ill-equipped to be able to deal with mental health issues from the LGBT context. Um, other than sexual health, there is issues of uh, hormone health as well, uh, and that covers both trans men and trans women. That's not all about sexual health and STIs, um, and a lot more work has to be done there uh, to try Im and improve access, un understanding, and awareness as well as the quality of services too. Uh, and those are just two things that come to mind. Um, thankfully, we can build upon the great strides that have been created by providing sexual reproductive health services for women. Um, but even within the women's health context, there's still things that are specific to queer women uh, that, that tell us that we've got much more work to do.